Giants. Back deep is Alfred Jackson, a rookie from Texas. He's a burner. Up to 15, and Jackson is Ooh. touched down as he crosses the 15-yard line. And the Giants have the ball right up. Here's the Giant offensive line, perhaps the most improved area of this team. Gravel and Nikolojic at tackle. And here's the receivers, Perkins, Robinson, and the tight end, Al Dixon. And Dixon has really improved at tight end. He's coming fast. With Pizarczyk at quarterback, and they'll be running six back. To start it off, we have Zonka in with Bob Hammond, who has the ball. Zonka blocks in the cornerback, and Hammond takes it inside the 10-yard line. Go, Zonka! Touchdown, Giants! They're on the board already with a game left for a minute old. All right, here from behind the Giant offense, they pull the left guard across. Boy, good trap block. And I guess nobody's a bigger load inside the four-yard line than Larry Zonka still. Well, that's just great blocking. Danello drills the extra point. Didn't take long. We'll be looking at that block that sends Zonka into the end zone. Here's Danello kicking off again. The ball is fielded again by Jackson. Here comes Alfred Jackson as the Giants hone in and knock him down inside the 15-yard line, and the boos start to cascade down. Gonna have to get Albert Jackson police protection to get him out of here today. <laughs> now watch left to right. Watch 63 Van Horn come over. Turner and Michael Ochik just seal it off. Look at this trap block. And he just breaks the defensive lineman over and back and out. Like you say, he just gives Zonka a crack that close. I think that's how they're utilizing Zonka this year. They're spotting him, using him in certain situations, and it's gonna pay off down the road. Darkowski at quarterback. Bubba Bean is one of the setbacks. Haskell Standback is the other. The tight end Mitchell goes in motion. The pitchback goes to Haskell Standback. <laughs> Mike Cannon, Warren Bryant the tackle. Scott and Thielman the guard. Van Nose the center. They got some big people up front. But they've not produced much on offense. In fact, in the last 18 games, only twice has Atlanta scored more than 16 points. Yeah, that's 45 overall in four games is all. Yeah, that's all. That's right. 45 points in four games. <laughs> only given up 55 but they're one and three Barkowski gets time he throws into a crowd throws too high and off up the middle and here comes Bubba Bean a quick little back out of Texas A&M a former number one draft choice he gets to the 18 yard line well short of a first down Beasley Reese hit him here's the Atlanta defense now Jeff Yates is starting a defensive end where Claude Humphrey's been for 10 seasons he retired Polk Kuykendall Ortega and Brazina back the line three, three stickers ones. three stickers Nothing wrong with the Atlanta defense. It's been the offense has been weak in the first four games. Hazarchik on second and seven in the flat. He has Zanka. Six foot three, 245 pound running back Larry Zonka was signed as a free agent by the Giants on April 7th, 1976, after the World Football League folded. It was a huge three-year, $1 million contract, but the future Hall of Famer tore knee ligaments in a game played on AstroTurf at Giants Stadium in Week 12. 1978 was his last year as a Giants player, and he only had three games with more than eight carries that year, topping out at 13. His signing was a bust for New York, as he only rushed for 1,344 yards and 11 touchdowns in three years. Frank Reed, one of the safeties, hit him. Well, the Giants have it first and 10 now inside the 25-yard line. Right back to Zonka. He runs the slant down to the 20. Second down, coming up about 7 for the Giants. They lead 7-0 in the first quarter. Out pattern. Johnny Perkins going one-on-one -on -one with Rick Bias. And the ball's over three. We got against Atlanta. They grabbed Pizarczyk's face mask. Well, Wamawina, how do you pronounce that again? Wamawina. Wamawina. Wilson. He took two, two guys with him, and he may have grabbed... On the defense, number 52, first down. Increased his distance so much. Got that one now. Block field goal across the Atlanta football game last Sunday at Tampa Bay. The run back for a touchdown. Here's Danello trying to field goal. What happened here, Sonny? He pulls a dead left, and the side saddle guys do that once in a while. Danello did make some contact with uh, Bailey, the big lineman, got part of that. Falcons try to bulldoze the ball out. They're running back out of A&M. Bubba Bean is knocked down by Mendenhall and Jeter. 
Jim Mitchell, the tight end, is finally cut down by Ray Rhodes, but there is a penalty marker down at the line of scrimmage. But it's going to be against the Giants, huh? They say he's got to come out and get a couple of passes early, and that builds his confidence. He did the one to Mitchell. Down to the 40-yard line, Van Pelt makes the That's tackle. That's a heck of a play by Van Pelt, and I know he's playing with a bruised thigh. He really shouldn't be probably playing, but number 10 seems to show up and do a pretty good job, doesn't he? Yeah, they didn't know he was going to be ready right until game time, Van Pelt. Mendenhall moving toward the flow gets sealed off. Mitchell is a good blocking tight end, as you can see, number 86. Well, Thielman did a job, too, didn't he? Didn't he? Robert Miller scores from a yard out for the Vikings. They lead Tampa Bay 7-0. Barkowski has an open receiver. Wallace Francis, another first down. Beasley Reese finally knocks him down, but the ball's inside the Giants 30. Lehman Bennett, unhappy about that, the Atlanta coach. Okay, this field goal kicker makes this an exciting play, too. Steinford. <laughs> Steinford. Block. And here come the Giants with the ball. It's a foot race. Brian Kelly. They still haven't gotten him. And finally, a block tackle is missed, and Kelly's not done yet. Ryan Kelly is off. Look at the lateral and in for a Martin. touchdown to Stuart Martin. Ray Rhodes is the one that blocked the field goal attempt. Number 22 came in and blocked it. Boy, this is deja vu for Atlanta. They lost the game at Tampa Bay when Mike Washington ran back 177 yards. George Martin played his entire 14-year career with the Giants and compiled 96 sacks. He held the record for most touchdowns scored in a career by a defensive lineman with seven. This one, a four-yard pass reception, two fumble recoveries, and three interception returns totaling an amazing 164 yards. Jason Taylor broke the record later with eight touchdowns. I'm dying to see where Rhodes came from. He went to the outside, and they never laid a glove on him. Bubba Bean and Haskell stand back are the setbacks as Bartkowski is way down in this game now and goes nowhere on the first run. In the snow, it was the darndest kickoff return I ever saw. Watch this from left to right. Man, I'll tell you, the safety man was 10 yards deep on that. He just if you can pick up where he steps out of bounds. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, there it was. He hit the white carpet. Yeah, he's out, way out here. Now we'll... Let's see what happened the pass rush to the left side. Here's Martin. He stumbled and was buried by that big Bryant. Look Ooh. at his hand on top of his helmet. I'll tell you, they're a load on the line of scrimmage. Right now, they're in the hole. First and 15 for the Falcons. Barkowski with a deep drop. Gregory doesn't get to him. Barkowski's going to run. They don't like this in Atlanta. They like him to unload because of that bad knee. Carson back in the game comes over and knocks him down. As we open the second quarter, Giants leading 14-0. Opening kickoff was fumbled by Atlanta to join us late. Two plays later, Zonka ran it in for a touchdown. Bartkowski steps into the pocket. Boy, he can hum it. Got a first down on that one. He goes up to him and comes off. Now watch this as the flow comes around the sides. Martin and Gregory both behind him. Number 10's handling himself pretty well today. Third down and four now for the Falcons. Pitch back to Bubba Bean. And the Giants knock him down short. Of the you go for it and try to get back in the football game, or do you worry about a left-footed kicker? Well, After I'd... you had one block, Tom, I think I'd go for you. Oh, absolutely. Why not? All right. Two tight ends will be in there now, Wright and Mitchell. Stand back is the money back. See if they run him behind Mitchell. I really like short yardage football, you know it? Not too fancy, but a lot of fun. It wasn't too fun making the calls all the time. <laughs> Go to Bubba Bean. He dances. He didn't get there. The Giants stop him, and they take over the ball. First punt for the Giants, huh? First punt for Dave Jennings, who's averaging over 45 a try this year. Isn't Jennings uh, doing sports casting up in New Haven or somewhere? Does sports casting, public speaking. Well, isn't that something all those football players trying to get in this business? <laughs> <laughs> they only knew how tough it is. <laughs> Jennings hits a long spiral downfield. Alfred Jackson will take it at the 21. Across the 30. Penalty marker down as Jackson is knocked down. 
We have 7.25 left to play in the first half, and the clock is running here at Atlanta Stadium. The Giants scored early in the game on a short run by Zonka. They scored on an 89-yard return of a blocked field goal. Kelly picked it up, lateral to Martin. He took it in. Good throw. Billy Rickman, wide receiver from Louisiana Tech, goes up in the air and gets a hard thrown ball from Steve Barkowski for a first down. Going to put it up again. He's going to throw the home run ball. It is overthrown, but it's got a flag anyway. Yeah, we do. First and ten, Barkowski with a deep drop and a lot of time. Wallace Francis, he's been trouble. He's gone. Gone. It is over. And the game tightens up considerably. Got a friend over there to convoy him down the field. 89 just glides in. That is some pass play. So now Steinford will try the point after with John James holding. He's got it. And we've got a football game once again. Hollis Francis played 26 games with the Bills in 1973 and 1974, but he didn't catch a pass. In 1973, his two kickoff returns led the NFL, as did his 29.9 average return. He was traded to Atlanta in 1975, and he played for them through 1981, with 1979 being his best season. They are Solid football types. That's it right there. That's a grip split. split. There you are. <laughs> Two eggs over and a little grip splits, right? All right, now the Falcons are looking to make the Giants punt the ball. Third down and a long, long yardage. Almost 18. There's Arctic gambling, and he's down. Very close. It's a safety. It is a safety. It's now 14 to 9 game. And Falcons form a wedge. Just an unusual return. Here's the wedge. Boy, there's a lot of guys in front of Alpha Jackson. It's not a live ball. They can go for all the scrambling. It is a live ball on the Got free it. kick. Jennings thinks that the Giants have possession. I believe they're going to get possession of the football. It is a free ball. You can use it, you can kick it off like a kickoff, or you can punt it. And they decided to punt it, and Atlanta let it roll. It's a live ball either way, Evan. Just like letting a kickoff roll. They looked at it like it was a grenade, you know, like it had 20 seconds to get out of the area. 52-yard punt. That's about the best giant offensive play of the day. It's going to put them now. We have the Giants with time to work, 114 to go. And they're at the Falcon 28. Dixon inside the 20, and he wisely uses... Oh, he's lost the ball. And now it's fumbled out of bounds. What in the world is this? Atlanta comes up with the football in the end zone. That'll be a touchback, huh? That's the darnest thing I've ever seen. Let's watch it again now. Here's Robinson coming up. He's right in front of the official, so it looked legitimate. My gosh, Atlanta comes out with it. Right now, there's a shot before the game, and he was nervous about yeah, great all job. the... Plotted, right? Yeah, a tremendous amount of work with retarded children in the state of Georgia, the Tommy Nobis Special Olympics. He's a fine individual, Tommy Nobis. Here is Haskell Standback turning back. And what is this? Another fumble. Giants have that ball. The Giants have the ball with 41 seconds left. In the flat, they go to Perkins. And Johnny Perkins gets it down to the 16-yard line. Say it ain't so, Joe Dinello shanked this 35-yard field goal attempt wide left to bring an end to this wild first half. Here is the kickoff. Steinford kicks it deep, and now a little bit of a hesitation, and finally the ball is taken out by Beasley Reese. He didn't get to the 20. Bobby Hammond, who normally returns kickoffs, will not play in the second half. He's suffering from a mild concussion. Zonka and Spencer are the running backs. They're going with big backs now. Two 235-pounders pitch back Spencer, Zonka block. And the carry is out to the 20 where Jim Bailey, number 72, and Rollin Lawrence, a little cornerback, combined on the stop. Second down and eight now. Billy Taylor is tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. Brazina shot the gap, the outside linebacker. And Atlanta gets tougher. Greg Brazina played 11 years for Atlanta after being an 11th round draft pick. He made the Pro Bowl in 1969, but missed the entire following season with an injured knee. He would only miss four more games over the next nine years. 
He and his five brothers all played football at the University of Houston. With defense in the 50s, offense was coming on the field, and Robustelli said, see if you can hold him. <laughs> They're down at about 12. They go on a draw play up the middle, and the Giants fight for very little, get the ball out to the 20. And they'll punt the ball now on fourth and 10. Now they set up a coverage now, a return. Jennings lops the punt downfield. Rickman, wide receiver from Louisiana Tech, takes the ball across the 40. And he's got room to run. Oh, man, he had a full channel of blockers, and the Giants' Gary Shirk made a tackle of absolutely utmost importance because that could have gone with Tom Brookshire and Sonny Jurgensen this is Don Crickey back at Atlanta Stadium early in the third quarter the Falcons have the ball failing 14 to 9 the Giants led at the outset 14 nothing but Atlanta now moving they stopped the Giants on their first try here comes Haskell stand back down to the 40. second down and six now Esposito carries working hard behind that big Bryant Warren Bryant 270 pounds and Thielman the guard and fighting his way down close to the 35-yard line. Third and inches. Barkowski calls number 11, number 10, and takes it right over himself. Right up the middle off his center, Jeff Van Note, and gets the first down. He goes 8 for 14 in the first half. If he wants to throw it now, he can pull the trigger anytime he wants to. Well, talking to Eddie LeBaron, the general manager of the Falcons at halftime, he says, Bartkowski historically, if he has a good first half, can be great for a whole game. If he has a bad first half, he tends to get down on himself. So we'll see if he holds up after a strong first half. He throws it and it's caught. Wallace Francis, who has been the killer. That's a good throw because a short, not a long rhythm throw, very quick count. Just back three steps, throwing the ball on rhythm. Confidence, that's the name of this game if you're a quarterback particularly, huh? That's exactly right, Tom. Second down, about five. Stand back from Tennessee is the second back through. Esposito finds the crack and breaks ahead down inside the 20. It's a first down for the Falcons as they drive again for another first down. Mendenhall is so quick that he overruns the play and Esposito just cuts behind it. Watch the left part of your screen, 64, come out near Martin. He gets held a little bit, and they just run right behind him. He was held a lot. He got pulled down, didn't he? That offensive line for Atlanta is doing a good job now. This makes those guys even get larger when they say, hey, we're taking it right at the Giants where they live. No question the Falcons are winning at the line of scrimmage right now as they move the chain markers, get those first downs. They trail 14 to 9. Giants left early. What it does, it gives the Falcons a very advantageous down and yardage, first and five. Stand back to the 10. Very close to a first down. George Martin finally knocked him down. So the Falcons with Mike Cannon, Warren Bryant at tackles, Dave Scott and R.C. Thielman at guard, Jeff Van Note at center. Look for the short yardage now. Second and one. Nope, he's going to put it up. Well, that was a great throw. I know it's going to be an incomplete pass. That was some kind of a throw, Sonny, coming out of that the pass of, of play action, huh? Mitchell didn't give him a good angle, or it was Esposito, didn't give him a good angle to catch the ball. He goes directly away from him, and he has to lay it over the top. Two tight ends in the game. Third in the yard again now for the Atlanta Falcons, down at the 10-yard line of the Giants. Looks like he's got it. Our slant. Stamp back takes it in for a first down. On the line of scrimmage, that's where the Falcons are living right now and did a darn good job of it. Boy, look at the, the tight end still dr driving on his block. 7.55 to play in the third quarter. Standback takes a hard hit. Gregory got him. Van Pelt was there. Carson was there. Haskell Stanback played with Atlanta from 1974 through 1979. He led the team with 873 rushing yards in 1977, which was the sixth best total in the NFC. We are back. 
Pascal Stanback, who has been the prime runner for the Falcons this year, has gone out with a banged up knee. He'll probably be back. He's walking it off. But right now, the Falcons are driving towards what might be a go-ahead score. Barkowski throws into the end zone. Van Pelt had a play on the ball that was tipped. Incomplete. Stanback is about the last healthy running back that the Falcons have. Bennett's having to use Esposito. Strong has been hurt. I have a feeling Haskell may come back very quickly. He didn't even want to leave. Third and goal. Barkowski, a blitz against him, and they get him. Big play. Ernie Jones, a free safety, came. He wasn't picked up. There's a penalty marker down, however, in the end zone. It's going to be a little interference and shoving in that end zone where it is really tough to play fast Stevens without being able to bang anybody. Well, what a break this would be for the Falcons, too. They get an automatic first down. Bartkowski wasn't much of a running quarterback. He mainly ran on designed quarterback sneaks. As his 178 career rushing attempts and only 239 rushing yards indicate. Here's Bizarchik taking a look. Oh, your man Kuykendall almost had one. That's the first time he's seen the ball probably in that close. Two or three months, that's right. Second and ten now. Giants third in the conference in offense. They haven't been getting it done today. And Kozarski is once again the sack E. And the sacker is Jeff Mera. Murrow was very quick, though, on the pass rush. He's up. The blind side is the one that hurts. Ghosty's on the side now, warming up. A very fine thrower. He was shaken up, really, during training camp during the preseason. Well, what a job this man has done, young man has done since coming in, taking over and having an opportunity to play. It's like a hip pointer or something. Could be a hip pointer. He's just walking Pointed awfully carefully up. on the left leg. And a new quarterback is in for the Giants. They might go right after him on third and long. End the round, free football. Jimmy Robinson picks it up, but it's inside the 10-yard line. Boy, Atlanta's really tightened up. They are tough. They came with everybody and almost picked up the handoff. Sonny Jurgensen were set for the start of the fourth quarter at Atlanta Stadium on a sunny September, October day, October 1, and it is a 16-14 score on the board. The Falcons rallying from 14 points down to take the lead. Barkowski is caught. Against that gigantic tackle. Watch the right part of your screen now. Ken sets up. Gregory just goes right on around and strips the quarterback of the ball. He never knew where he came from. Again, taking a long time to get rid of the football. <laughs> Joe's 5 of 13 for 72 yards. And he's got a second and 10 coming up now at about the 17-yard line. Fourth quarter, Falcons 16, Giants 14. Dornink, the rookie, turns to the outside. 12-14 left to play in the game. Six Joe is 2 of 3 up to the 30-yard line. Five for five coming to the game from outside the 40. Got that one. Danello drills it, and the Giants take the lead 17 to 16. And the Giants have two men back now. Robinson is back. Bob Hammond, normally a punt returner, isn't back with him. Out with a mild concussion. James Thompson goes back with Robinson. Oh. James Thompson. Looks for every yard he can get. He took that hard hit. You're, team, you're seeing two of the great punters at the same they're time really. on the field. They are both kicking it. Boy, oh, they are. They've been a big factor. It is airtight this game. 17-16 Giants as we're in the fourth quarter and the Giants have the ball. And they've been mean. Hand off Dornick. He's just been a money player in this game. The rookie from Washington State. Dornick, first down a lot more as Dornick not done yet. Across midfield, and Dornick is all the way down to the 48-yard line. <laughs> the rookie came up with a spin, and nobody was around him, but he really had presence of mind. He falls down. Remember now, he's a rookie. College ball, you're done, right? Watch him spin and sort of cut, fall down. He rolls right back up, does a Veronica, and takes off again. It's pretty good thinking for a young man. Rick Baker, our statistician, points out that Dornick has got... 7.9 a carry. Here's a swing to Taylor. He's open. And Taylor is down to the 41-yard line. Now the Giants come out of the huddle. Their offense has gotten it together more. That field goal really picked them up after the defense got them the fumble recovery to set it up. Bill 
Billy Taylor straight ahead. Excellent blocking from the giant offensive front. Zonka carried the ball that time. Larry Zonka back in. But he's fresh. Hubert Green is the leader at the golf tournament we're going to very shortly after this game. Here is Taylor running the ball down to the 30. Second down and five now. First back through is Durning. Down to the 28. It's getting a little bit tough right in the middle of the line right now. They're going to Obviously, the defense is going to sort of tighten up in there because the Giants are going to work there. Third down. Short yardage, just over two. The Darchik play faking. And Willie Spencer couldn't get to that ball. So fourth down. Larry Mallory holds. Far enough. He's got it. Danello drills it from. 45 yards out, and now the Falcons would have to score a touchdown to go ahead. As the Giants extend their lead to 20 to 16, they used up a lot of time in that drive that set it up. Six minutes and 58 seconds left to play in the game, and we'll be back at Atlanta in a moment. Get up there and give it a shot. Sure. It's Freddie Dreyer doing it out in California. In a little car. Here is a handoff straight ahead. You know, they talk about the Giants, Tom, not having cheerleaders. Most of the teams had them. Actually, the Giants were the first team to have them in 1962. The girls were to come out, and they were each going to hold up a card with a letter, and it was to read, Go Giants, Go. But somebody got juxtaposed, <laughs> convoluted, and it came out, Og, Gnats, Og. That was the end of the cheerleaders. No one's perfect. That's right. That is good. Og. Og, Gnats, Og. <laughs> They got the hook. That was it. Athens running up the gut. That's Ricky Patton. Esposito in the running back field with Patton. Play fake. Bartkowski. They get him. So the Giants really come out now smoking, and they get Bartkowski inside the 30. Gregory from the backside, and Mendenhall straight on. Watch number 64 now. Again, he's just under six feet tall. Quick and like a rubber ball if you're trying to block him. He runs right through the back behind the Haley. Mesposito had no shot at it. Otis McKinney, a rookie's on one corner against Billy Rickman. On the other corner, covering for the Giants, is Bill Bryant. As Barkowski takes a deep drop on second and long, up the middle, and his tight end Mitchell has it. Mitchell still fighting, hand fighting Giants away. He didn't get a first down, but he got close. Good throw this time. Him coming across, no play action, a straight drop back. You see the little game played, but see he got back, and even though under pressure, he had time to deliver the ball, and he made an accurate throw. Watch Mitchell now. Everybody else is saying get out of bounds, and he doesn't give up even Van Pelt gets a shot at it. Still trying to punish people, isn't he? Pittsburgh beats the Jets, 28-17. Final score, hand off Patton. He's out to the 48, and he didn't get the first down. That was a third down carry. Looks like he's short of it. Van Pelt looked like he was leaning right in the hole. I think it was Van Pelt. It was, yeah. I would think you'd have to go for it here. That's All right. Great play by Van Pelt. There's no oh. way you're going to tee up Steinfurt from this distance, and you've oh, got to. Oh, you're going to have to punt it away, though, and uh, 446 left. This might be the time. You may not get it back. You wouldn't go with that quick kick now, though. Oh, I like this. I like going for fourth down and just trying to win the football game. That's what they're going to do as they line up with Devil tight end. <laughs> Penalty marker is down. Ricky Patton, the rookie, carried for the first down to midfield, but we have to see what the oh, call is. Let's see what the Zebras call. This is going to be a view. Against the this is against the, against the Giants. Stanback is back in the game, and so is Bubba Bean, the two guys that started at running back, and both were banged up. Bubba Bean runs, and does he? All the way down to the 36-yard line as the clock ticks down and shows 4.18 to play. A lot of time left. I'll tell you, that, that big Bryant and Thielman do a good job on the right side of that line. Look at the hole they opened up. And if you can keep Bubba being healthy, he's some kind of a good running back. Stand back runs on first down, gets a couple. Brian Kelly hit him. He almost lost the upper half of his body. He's out wide and left, Francis, as Barkowski takes a look. He's got time. Now they go after him. He unloads. It's up for grabs. Anybody can get this. Bill Bryant had a play on it, almost intercepted. Ernie Jones went up after it. Isn't it? 
Third and eight. Third and seven, actually. Here is swing pass to Bubba Bean. No first down. He's about four yards short of it. Fourth down and four. Falcons trail the Giants 20 to 16. All or nothing at all. He's got time. He's got a man at the first down. Wallace Francis. He's down at the nine. First and goal. Well, I'll tell you, it's a close game here. I'll tell you. Close as they can be, 2016. Giants lead, 157 to play. First and goal, Atlanta at the Giant nine. Stand back and Bean, the running back. Castle stand back. Touchdown, Atlanta. This is a big extra point. Big extra point coming up. And Haskell's second touchdown. He's been hurt. We saw him go off and try to warm up. Cuts it back in. You think that man from Tennessee isn't happy? Boy, he found a nice seam to cut back through, too, didn't he? Mendenhall Hall gets just knocked by the back, the up back. Van Pelt gets handled on a pretty good block, and I couldn't see that player's number. Oh, that was that was about as well run a football play as we've seen all day. I mean, everybody was knocked down. And Stanback goes in for the go-ahead score, standing up. Steinford hits the extra point. So the Giants can now hope with a minute 52 left to play to get field goal range. As Danello hit it, we could possibly go into overtime. It's 23-20 Atlanta. 147 left to play. 23-20 Atlanta. The Garza throws. Perkins catches the ball and goes out of bounds. Boy, did Bias nail him. But what a great... Did he get it? He got it. 38-yard line for a first down. Perkins is mad because he took a shot. No, they're ruling him out of bounds. They say he did not get it. All right. Let's see if he would have come back down in bounds had he not been hit. I think his foot was out of bounds. Three-man rush. They got a lot of guys dropping. Perkins loses the ball. Dixon had a play on it. I tell you, that Atlanta defense, they're hitting everything that moves. The officials better watch out. They may get hit. Watch this. This time, think? Tommy throws the turn in instead of the turn out. He almost had him open, but what a play by Ralph Ortega. Well, here's a slightly big third down. Third and ten. Got to go deep sideline, don't you? No. We're going to find out. Here it is. Ball was there, but Perkins couldn't hold on. Kazarczyk looks, throws. It's caught. Dorning has it. Did he get the first down? He didn't. They have him out of bounds short. Who cut him off at the pass? Lawrence? Was it Roland Lawrence that hit him? Let's watch. Here it is. Just short, and the Falcons take over with a 23 to 20 lead. Frank Reed, strong safety. What a tackle. Cut him off at the pass. Boy, the Grits did blitz that one.